Today we are discussing about the secret for permanent deliverance. The secret for permanent deliverance. Because deliverance is what everyone is looking for, especially this end time. And you seeing the frustration of children of God, seeing the hard desire of children of God from one church to another, from one mountain to another, from desert to valley, uh, from prayer house to prayer ministry to church, from prophet to pro uh, prophet, pastor to pastors, church to church, just looking for deliverance. And they, up to now, they have not received deliverance they are looking for. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and the click follow button if you are watching me from Facebook. Join me in spreading this gospel. Join me to save lives by sharing this message, commenting on that message, on the message, liking it, and let everyone to know about this page. God bless you as you do so. What is the secret for permanent deliverance? Not just, not just that a man just prayed, and after two days, after three days, after one month, the problem come back again. Not just that a man just go to mountain, pray, shout, sow all kind of seed. They lay hand on him in one way or the other. Different pastors, different prophets lay hand on him. Has that man received deliverance? I want to start asking questions. Deliverance, is it all about someone falling down and rising up in the church or in the prayer ministry? Is it deliverance? Deliverance, is it all about a man of God, a minister of God, a woman of God laying hand on you, praying for you? Is it deliverance? Deliverance, is it all about using olive oil on you or rubbing olive oil, sprinkling holy water on you? Is it deliverance? All these things are not deliverance. In the book of John, Gospel, chapter 8, verse 32, Jesus told us the secret of deliverance. Look at what Jesus said there. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. You shall know the truth, and the truth, where you know the truth, the truth will make you free. So today, we are seeing the wrong application of deliverance. We are seeing the way Christians have frustrated, children of God are frustrated, because they are applying the wrong thing. They are applying wrong thing in the area of deliverance. And they come to a state that children of God, some people have prayed. They think that God has no power anymore. They begin to, 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 to appreciate native doctors. And the, 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 the native doctors, in one way or the other, they value native doctors more than preachers of gospel, even more than God himself. Because they went to a particular place, they went to this man of God, they, they did not receive the deliverance. They go to another church, they didn't receive the deliverance. They go to another prophet, they didn't receive the deliverance. And after sowing of the seed, after doing everything, night BG, fasting and prayer, their problem continues because they miss the secret of deliverance. So the secret for permanent deliverance is knowing the truth of the gospel. I tell you that Satan oppressed in darkness. Look at what Jesus said. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And Jesus was telling Pilate, he said, I came to be a witness for the truth. And Pilate asked Jesus, what is truth? Jesus now said in, Ma in John chapter 8, 32, you shall know the truth. And when you know the truth, the truth you know will set you free, will make you free. It is not the person that tells you the truth that will make you free. This is number one area people miss deliverance. They are looking up to man of God. They are looking up to woman of God. They are looking up to prophets. They are looking up to pastors and preachers. But Jesus did not tell us that the pastors and preachers will make us to be free. The word of God makes us to understand that the truth, it means the truth to the man of God, the woman of God, the prophet of God, preach, is what will make you free. So now when people shifted their faith from the truth of the gospel, they focused their faith on pastors and prophets, they missed the deliverance. 
And I want you to understand that deliverance is not all about falling down and rising. It's not deliverance. Because sometimes when somebody falls down and rises up, they say, oh, this person has received deliverance. And they also remember that not only God, not only Spirit of God makes someone to fall down. Even demon can push you down. So it doesn't mean that you receive deliverance. So find the area you need deliverance and go for truth. Go for truth. Look at what the Bible said in the book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. God himself said, my children, my people are perished because they lack knowledge. That is to say, my children are perishing in the hand of darkness, in the hand of Satan, because they don't know the truth of God's word. They don't know the truth of God's word. So you see many areas in life, people don't know truth. Sometimes they say, oh, when you are coming, buy native pots so that you'll be free. Someone was telling me in a particular ministry, they said in that ministry, they, 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 they came to prayer in that ministry, everybody carried native pots, native pots, like, a, like native doctors, everybody in the church. Because they said that this pot is where the, the enemy tie you, the pot they used to tie your destiny. As you break that pot, you are free. No, no. Sometimes they will say, when you are coming to church, you come with key. Wherever they are lock you, wherever they lock you, as you as we are opening that key in the church, your destiny will be will be free. Your destiny will be unlocked. Those things are religious jargons. Those things are religious jargons. You know that sometimes somebody can be happy. Somebody, somebody can make you to be happy, like a comedian. Comedian can make you to be happy. But after being happy for a while, your happiness will not last forever. Your soul will still remain. So sometimes they will, they can tell you what you like to hear because they know that if you hear something like that, you will like it, you will cherish it. So they will tell you what you like to hear. But I believe that God one is telling you what will deliver you. Go in for the truth. Seek for truth. That is the permanent solution for deliverance. We are going to examine many things today. The other day, a preacher told her congregation and said, when you are coming to program, so, so, so time, that program will be wonderful. Come with minerals. Come with minerals. And she decided to tell the congregation the type of brand they will come along with. That the Lord wants to use that mineral to make their life sweet. The other time, a preacher was telling his congregation and said, when you are coming to next week program, come with ripe banana. Holy Ghost told me something about ripe banana. So we are going to carry out spiritual work with the ripe banana. These things are deception. I believe that God don't want us to deceive any of his child. God don't want us to deceive any of his child. Knowing fully well that the, all this chip made Jesus to die on the cross. Jesus shed his blood on this chip. You know, this chip caused Jesus his blood. And whosoever that deceived this chief, this chief, whosoever that is taking advantage of this chief, whosoever that is taking advantage of this chief, or manipulating them, or robbing them, I believe that the Lord will fight. The Lord will fight for those chief. But as you are watching this message right now, you discover that many times you call for family deliverance, they give you prophecy and say, oh, in your father's house, there is, uh, there is an idol. Your ancestors worship idol. And that is why things are not moving well in your family. They say, oh, what will be the solution of that issue? They say, okay, we need to conduct family liberation for you. Family liberation is must. And at the end, you say, how, how, how much will it cost? You say, 500,000. Some people charge 1 million. Some people charge 1.5. Depend the nature of the family whether they have the money to afford it or not. So they will look at the nature of the family to discover if they have the money. So they will give you the price based on the nature of the family. And in many a times, people have done it. Some people bought gold for them. At the end, they didn't get anything in return. You discover that you have conducted family liberation more than two times, three times, four times with the different prophets. They will come there and give prophecy and prophesy in one way or the other. And you did not get family liberation. Because the truth that will make you free is not yet being preached to you. The truth that will make you free is not yet being preached to you. For instance, it's like the area of blessing. 
area of financial blessing. Sometimes we normally say, I hear some people say, oh, pray, begin to command money to come. Oh, pray, oh, yeah, pray. Somebody that is holding your money, let the person die. And they pray, they fast, they sow seed. But you go and check the scripture. You listen, go and check the scripture. The Bible did not tell us that uh, that the area of financial abundance is praying and fasting. No. The area of financial abundance is sacrifice. Sacrifice. Abraham sacrificed to the Lord and he was delivered. I am going to drop a message that how to be delivered from ancestral cause. How to be delivered from ancestral cause. I'm going to drop that message. So now, people offered sacrifice to the Lord. And when the Lord accept their sacrifice, the Lord will open the windows of heaven for them. Look at, look at Solomon. Solomon just went to the altar of God and sacrificed 1,000 bullock. And the Lord came down and said, you call me, what will I do for you? And the Lord blessed him. Look at Abraham. Abraham sacrificed to the Lord and the Lord blessed him. Look at Isaac. Isaac sowed seed. Even in a dry season, he sowed. That is to say, he gave to, the, to God. He gave to the kingdom of God. He gave, he sowed something and the Lord blessed him. So now, when people want to convert the, the, the principle of wealth, the principle of blessing to fasting and prayer, they will end up be frustrated. And I want to say it here. If you are not yet born again in spirit and in truth, stop looking for deliverance, you will not get it. If you are not yet born again, if you are not born again, stop looking for deliverance. In fact, the more you are looking for deliverance, the more your sorrow is increasing. Why? Because Jesus told us that when a demon, when an evil spirit is cast out of a man, the spirit will go because we, that spirit is being casted in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So the spirit must obey the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But after a while, the spirit will still return back to you. You that engage in that deliverance. The spirit will still return back. And when the spirit come and discover that the house is well clean, that is to say the house is still vacant because God created human spirit. Human spirit can, it can never stay without partnering with the, with, the, with the invisible being. There is nothing like a vacuum in human spirit. God created human spirit that the human spirit can never be vacuumed. Either that Holy Spirit occupy it or demonic spirit occupy it. So when that person engaged in deliverance, after that deliverance, the person is not yet born again. The person did not surrender his life to Jesus. His life or her life is still the same. Devil will come back. Jesus told us this. That Satan will come back and when he see that Christ has not taken over the life of that individual, demon will go. That the same spirit that was casted out of his or her life will go and bring more other seven demons stronger than him. They will come and enter that man or that individual. And Jesus said that the situation of that individual now will be worse than the first time he engaged in deliverance. This is why sorrow, many problems, People that engage in deliverance are normally seen because they are not born again. If you are not born again, stop looking for deliverance. You will increase your soul. Deliverance is only meant for children of God, people that are born again because after casting out the devil, the devil will still come back. There is nothing like I command you, Satan, not return back again. No. Jesus said that the devil will come back. And if the scripture told us that the demon that had been cast out will come back, there is no prayer a preacher or a man of God can pray that will make the demon that is being casted out of you not to return back again. That demon can return back when you are sleeping. It may return back when you are eating. It may return back when you are in shopping mall, buying. It may return back when you are in cinema hall. It may return back when you are in the beach and when he will come and look because you will not be able to know when the spirit will return back. But definitely he will return back and when he returns back, he will enter you back again. God forbid, your deliverance shall be permanent. So now, the secret for everlasting or for lasting deliverance, secret for lasting deliverance is not prophecy. Is not prophecy. Prophecy is very good. Prophecy is the, is the gift of the Holy Spirit. But prophecy can never give you deliverance. 
Stop seeking for prophecy in the area of deliverance. Seek for truth of God's word in that area. For instance, am I against prophecy? No. Prophecy is very, very wonderful. Bible told us to ask for the gift of prophecy. But in times of deliverance, prophecy cannot deliver you. You know, sometimes people will go for deliverance. They will tell them, oh, your uncle tie you. Oh, I can see you. Your, your, your grandmother tie you. Your mother bury your, your placenta. They tie your destiny. They throw it inside the river. And the people will now say, okay, I command that thing to be loose. I command it to be loose. You discover that you yourself that is engaging in that deliverance, you don't know the truth of God's word in that area. You want to be delivered. The Bible said that by, by uh, through knowledge shall the righteous be delivered. The Bible said that through knowledge shall the righteous be delivered. Remember that immediately you are in Christ Jesus, you are righteous. And the word of God told us is through knowledge, through knowledge, knowledge of what? Knowledge of the scripture, knowledge of the scripture. The Bible told us about how Satan operates in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. When Paul was telling people and telling people of Corinth, Corinthians, and he was telling Corinthians and said, If our gospel is hid, is hidden only for those people that did not understand it, that don't have understanding of the scripture. And why the gospel is hidden, why these people are not benefited from the gospel we preach to them, the man of God now said that because the prince of this world has blinded their hearts, have blinded their heart of understanding, so that they will never understand the gospel and be free from their problem. Because immediately you understand gospel, you will be free from your problem. Hallelujah. So now you must look for for wisdom, you must look for for knowledge in that area you are looking for deliverance. If there is no understanding in that area, all your effort, all your all your effort and everything, you will, you will discover that at the end it will make no sense. Stop wasting your time in the area of looking for deliverance, and stop wasting your money. Stop wasting your time in the area of trying to get deliverance and stop wasting your money your money because this is what attracted affliction to many people they don't know the truth look for truth of god's word in that area look for truth of god's word in that area oh come and sow seed for open heaven if you want heaven to open for you oh yeah come and sow seed come and sow seed people are sowing seed for open heaven go to scripture there is nothing like sowing seed that will open heaven for you the bible makes us to understand that when you are tied to the lord when you give your tithe to the lord the lord will open the windows of heaven for you so now anybody that want to see open heaven in his life in his ministry in his destiny in his business in his academy in his office must be a tighter that is the, the that is the truth in that area for open heaven i pray that the lord will bless you i pray that god will give you more knowledge i pray that you receive mighty grace from the lord receive knowledge from the lord in every area you need deliverance i pray that whatsoever area whatsoever area that the devil have have, have trapped you down in ignorance i pray for you receive knowledge to be free from the hands of the wicked in the name of jesus that your, your that your longing problem that problem have, that have lasted for months and years in your life i cause that problem to wither in the name of jesus that situation that you have prayed and fasted because you lack knowledge in that area i rebuke that spirit in in the name of Jesus, may the Lord God Almighty give you more wisdom of his word. That was why Paul prayed for people that the Lord shall give you understanding of his word. That the Lord will enlighten your eyes of understanding that you may be able to know. So this is the secret for lasting deliverance. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click Follow me on my Facebook page, the same name, Anthony Ministry TV. Don't forget to share this message to many people. Join me as we save lives. God bless you. See you next time. And bye for now.